So you're a brand new Mac user and you want to learn keyboard shortcuts, but before you can do that you have to learn the Apple symbols, and it doesn't matter what program you look at, it usually ends the same. What's going on YouTube? This is Jonathan with TLD. I'm a huge fan of keyboard shortcuts, and I want to show you guys some, but before we can do that we have to learn the Apple symbols. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. The command key is what you're going to use most with keyboard shortcuts and if you're coming from Windows this is most like the control key as far as functionality. Now the control key does not have the symbol on the key itself like the command key. So I wanted to put the symbols next to the keys that way you guys can become familiar with it, memorize it and you guys can favorite this, remember it if you guys need to come back to it, use this as a reference. Now we show you the option key, this is similar to the alt key on Windows and it's usually the most confusing because most people don't associate it with the option key. Now onto the shift key, this is one you guys should be familiar with, Mac or PC. But this isn't about what it does. I want you guys to familiarize yourself with the actual symbol. That way you guys can use it for shortcuts. The same thing with the caps lock key. If you guys don't know what it's for, I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. But again, this is about familiarizing yourself with the Apple symbol. The function key is most used on laptops. For instance, if you have the brightness key on your MacBook, if you hit the function key with that, it's going to become F1. It's just going to give you more options. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, favorite it, use it as a reference. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.